Hello, hello, and welcome to the Duel Links meta weekly number 276. We should be beginning in about 10 minutes. This will be the first meta weekly post new box release. How y'all doing? We enjoying any of the new decks? I, uh, I pushed and hit uh, King of Games with Chronomaly on the last day, and uh, it was pretty fun. Got several win streaks that I submitted. Uh, the mana turns out pretty good card. Yeah, there were uh, there were several games where uh, I got to resolve like double the mana negate into uh, destroy like two or three cards with barrage blast, and got damn did it not feel pretty good. Hello, Jabberwork, the Wandering Kai Baboy, E Hero Stratos. Welcome, welcome. We're about 10 minutes out from the beginning of today's tournament. People still do be signing up today. Understandable. Everyone coming in hot with those decks last second. I, uh, I also spent the uh, couple hours at work just hitting auto duel to farm the uh, playmat of the uh, of Dyson Sphere. Gotta say, even with the Duel Links title on it, that mat's actually kind of sick. I really like that mat. The more I look at it, the more I actually think Dyson Sphere is like unironically kind of a badass looking card. Shiny Sophion! Thank you so much for the nine months together. I appreciate you greatly, my friend. Literally, all, all you had to do, just don't have the logo and mwah, so good. What deck do you use for my auto duel grinding the event? Well, for the last like 100 duels, it has been uh, the uh, auto, the Infinitrack deck to auto duel with Quentin. Uh, this will auto, uh, it will make rank nines extremely easily, which, look at that, it's Dyson Sphere. Uh, when I wasn't doing this specific build, I was playing the, um, the Automat version. Hello, Elmaz. How the heck you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. So good of you to join us. Uh, pilot, you want... You want in? I got you, fam.
added. So right here, deck quickly. <laughs> Any S forcers? Oh, I have to imagine there are. Does Dark Destroyer do enough for Cosmo to make it decent? Uh, short answer, no. Long answer, yes. Um, it's obviously incredible for the deck, but let's be honest, they need Cosmo Town. You give them Cosmo Town, then we can talk. We're like 50% of the way there. Alrighty, guys. I'm going to go back to helping people get ready. So we're going to take a brief little... Uh, we're going to get the ad break out of the way. And once we do, it should be at the launch of the event. So stick around. I will be right back. Hello, Ohemian Raiders. Welcome. We are uh, just getting ready for the Dual Links Meta Weekly number 276. Just a couple minutes out from the start of the tournament. Appreciate you stopping by. How did the climb go, Ohemi? I have to imagine you were clowning on the ladder, fools. Con, that'll be next week. Don't you worry. I will absolutely have puzzling Valk. Thank you so much for the, for the support, my friend. Like if we type it, type in S Forest Platina fan art. Surely somebody else has. Surely somebody else has. God, they're you really? No, really nobody. Somebody's got some goddamn Rappuccio Maru fan art. Fan art. Why is it showing me JoJo fan art? Hello? Excuse me? 
Hello, Elias. Thank you so much for your continued support, my friend. What did I search? Uh, S-Force Platina fan art. And the 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th one is literally a Jotaru Star Platinum. So apparently S-Force and Jojo are a thing. Will people be able to get in last minute or will they successfully fail? Yo, oh, Jaime, thank you so much. Get that scam train a rolling. Hello, everybody. Welcome. What's good? Hello, hello, hello. Ooh, people dodging bullets out here. I saw, I see a couple people made it in with their deck list, uh, by the skin of their teeth. Uh, does look like the drops have gone through, though. Was that another one? Was that another one? Yo, Khan! That's right. We all aboard the scam train, baby. Let's go. Thank you so much. Uh... <laughs> Did... Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna laugh... I'm going to laugh. I think I have to laugh here. You got dropped. If any of you ever intend to join a, an event like this, you should always submit a deck of some kind. Do not message at exactly the start time and say, It's too late, question mark. Is too late. Hello, problem. Uh, All right, we are clicking the start button. Unfortunate, too. I would have liked to have seen that deck. Oh, well. Maybe next time. He's too late. The button has been pressed. The alert has been given. Four rounds into top sixteen. But yes, uh, I do apologize. So, who all uh, supported us today so far? Shiny Sophion, Puzzling Valk, Eli, Ohimi, Khan, and... I uh, didn't miss anyone there, right? Yes, okay, that's everybody. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, follows as well. Uh, Leroy Jenkins, big fan, by the way. Thank you so much for following. Appreciate you. Okay. Let us find the first match of the day. We are going to be looking for that new deck spice. I want to see Orcus of every variety. I want to see Chronomaly. I want to see more Chronomaly. I would like to stick with Chronomaly. And then, uh, I guess we could also look at, like, Orcus, uh, uh, S-Force, uh, more Chronomaly, uh, S-Force, any Magistus, uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it real with you, my guy, probably not. That deck is not good. Can I explain what the Orcist Field spell does? You know how monster effects are not quick effects normally, unless they say quick effect? It's now a quick effect. 
Alrighty, we're gonna start things off. Chiwamaru is gonna discard S Force Showdown, searching for a copy of Gravitino from the deck. Gravitino effect is gonna add S Force Chase. We're gonna set one, two, and three. Now, what is S Force? Okay, S Force is like Mech Knight in reverse. So Mech Knight want to take advantage of your opponent's columns. S-Force want to take advantage of building their own columns to gain advantages. So currently, uh, Need X is uh, going to make it so that any monster, or uh, is any card, right? No monster. Yeah, any monster in the same column as an S-Force, if it leaves the field, will be banished instead. So currently, it is only this column. However, uh, if we had monsters in all the columns, then it would be all the columns. The main uh, combo that has people hyped up about this deck is going to be the card that we searched off of Gravitino, which is the S-Force Chase, which is Compulse on Legs. <laughs> However, oh, uh, not Legs, but Searchable Compulse. Uh, the downside to that is, however, that it is equal to the number of face-up S-Force monsters you control with different names. Uh, we had one, so it would have just been a Compulse. However, now it is a Compulse for zero. It will do nothing. Uh, at the bottom, we are going to have... Orcist. Orcist uh, has a couple different ways that they can build out the deck. Uh, there is ones that focus on Babel. There are ones that focus on Mermaid. Mermaid versions are going to be more of an engine and are going to use a bunch of other random cards to get the uh, ball a rolling, so to speak. The, um, the Babel versions are going to tend to play a little bit more pure to try and really take advantage of the resource game. Now, what he was going for here... Phantom Sky Blaster would put out a token, in, including itself. We were able to go into a copy of a Nightmare Phoenix. Had we successfully been able to resolve Phoenix and not get interrupted, we could have then used the Phoenix as the material for a Nightmare Mermaid. Mermaid would then discard a card to summon out an Orcus Nightmare from the deck because you can summon Nightmares. And you could have then gone into your Galatea. Uh, unfortunately, we got interrupted there. Uh, S-Force is going to be playing more of a disruptive back row -y deck. Uh, I mean, obviously, Duel Links has a lot of those, but S-Force in particular is going to be ve a very disruptive control strategy. Summoning another copy of uh, Rappa Chiamaru. Uh, we're leaving it on the uh, board just so that we can make sure that if this leaves the field, it will get banished. We're going to activate Compulse. As Force Chase will say no, or rather, it's going to return the. the Nightmare to the hand, but since it, re it left of the field while Gravitino was on the field, it is instead going to get banished. Uh, Rapachio uh, Chio Maru, excuse me if I can get that correctly, can, as at a quick effect, at any point, use her effect to uh, return herself to the hand, uh, banish a card from your hand, and then special a monster from the deck. Actually, could we have done that during the battle phase? Was there an argument for doing that there? Because we have Gravitino in hand. That's like the perfect combo. So we're going to discard Gravitino. We're going to search for the for Platina. Platina will then summon the Gravitino from the Banished Pile. 
And Gravitino will then search for a copy of one of our S-Force cards. We're going to search for the Bridgehead. Bridgehead. Uh, the other effect of Bridgehead is okay. It gives you battle protection against monsters in the same column as you once per turn. The main benefit is that it's a field spell that searches. So just add a copy of one of your cards to hand. So we're going to add S-Force Edge Razor. Uh, the main benefit of Edge Razor is that um, your opponent cannot make Link 3 or higher with monsters in the same column. Uh, his other effect is when you normal summon him, or special, I believe, isn't it? Yes. When you summon him, however, uh, he can special summon an S4 mon S4 is a monster from your hand. We're going to force out that last back row. It is an S4 chase. Razor, special summoning. Come forth, Chiwamaru, and we have lethal on board. Ties that bind. Bob Boostin. And game number one is going to go to Nidex. So it's going to it's going to take a little bit to kind of go over everything of each of the new decks we're uh, we're watching. So please bear with me. Orcus Weekly number one. Uh, who knows? Who knows what the breakdown is? You need to check in if you were there. Game number two. You want to see some Cosmo combo. Tell people to enter with it. Looks like Herald of Ultimateness will be coming to Duel Links soon. No, come on. Now. You're being a little ridiculous. Alrighty, we're going to start things off with an orchestrated return, sending our Orcus Nightmare to the graveyard. Draw two cards. Any Gandoras today? Um, I'm waiting for the breakdown currently. My cohort, Eli, is working on that. We're going to start things off with a Scrap Recycler, sending the Harp Hoarder to the graveyard. However, a most likely side-decked Artifact Lancia will instantly put an end to that turn. Double back row. Attempting to activate Bridge Force or S-Force Bridgehead to get Surgeon that will be met with an MST. You stop me, I stop you. 
we're gonna go ahead and normal the S Force of Rapachio Maru. Do we have a card in hand that we can banish? The ideal combo for this, remember, this is a combo you want to resolve every single time that you can. Rappa, disc or banish, Gravitino, summon Platino. Resummon Gravitino, get searching. However, you won't always be able to do this. Is this with the side deck? Correct. Yes, it is. Got demolished by DDD. DDD did get a bit of a buff. Not only did DDD gain the ability to use more of its cards, but on top of that, they are a level 8 deck in many respects, which means, that's right, Din Girsu has a new home. wandering after big thonkin we're gonna go ahead and banish the s force chase this will interrupt our combo oh no banished for nothing MST taking out a second copy of Chase. Oh, no. Ah, uh, well, I'm pretty sure this is over. We are playing both Cosmic and MST, by the way. Galatea to the field. We're going to activate Orcus to Nightmare. Dumping the wand. <laughs> Put the fear of back row in him. True! Galatea effect. Going to go ahead and set the orchestrated release. Release is what you... Are we playing release and mermaid? Interesting. Normally the decks do one or the other. Uh, regardless, we do have lethal on the field. Come forth, Dingirsu. Now we're doing this play specifically so that we can then, if somehow this didn't end up in lethal, we could release, tribute both of our monsters, resummon the Dingirsu as a form of interruption, non -eff Oh yeah, no, we're absolutely dead here. Game number two. Going, Nicole. Well done. Mm -hmm. Is Curry Kara Div Incarnate a good card? Um, is it a good card? No. Do I think you could make it work? Yes. See, here's the thing. We have to look at things from the perspective of Duel Links, not Master Duel, not TCG, right? So in Duel, in, 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 in TCG, etc., you need Kurikara to really get value, right? You need your opponent to have a bunch of stuff on field. You try and play through it. They go like, lol, no, lol, no, lol, no. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm taking your entire field from you. In Duel Links, that's not going to happen. Most likely, though, what you can do is end up in a situation, for example, like say you're playing against PK. 
you try and do a play, PK goes Requiem, lol, no. Then you can just go Kurikara. You have a 3,000 attack monster, which is already by itself decent in Duel Links. And assuming that they don't have an answer for it, you then get to resummon one of their monsters from the graveyard. Joint them like Requiem or something like that. So as long as there are quick effect monsters in the game, which is an era we are starting to get into, then as long as your deck has the room for it, Kurikara isn't awful. But I do think it will it will require the meta to be particularly full of monsters with effects that are activating on your turn. Like before it was exactly like PK basically, right? With like Requiem would negate you. Okay, well, we are just... Bro, what is your... Like... Well, we are seeing the brick here. Phantom Blaster into the Nightmare Mermaid. Nightmare Mermaid discarding and grabbing the Orcus Nightmare. Into the Galatea. Harp Horror. Into the Symbol. Nightmare effect. We're going to dump the wand again. Recycle the harp horror. Or no, sorry. Resummon it. Excuse me. Galatea effect. That will recycle. Probably just going to go for the orchestrated release here. Wire S Force expensive. I honestly think there are times where Konami doesn't think about how much a deck would actually cost. Like the Konami version of the deck probably plays like. My voice sounds a bit crackling. Oh, it's probably because of the. Um, fan that I have on. Hold on one second. Is this better? Do you still hear the crackling? Okay, I should have phrased that better. Okay, it's better. Okay, yeah, it was just the fan. I have turned it down. All right, so game number one going, or rather match number one going to Orcus. Let us go ahead and find another match. Uh, this is a 2-0, okay. We have corrected it. Fixed. Ooh, I, you know what? I think I want to watch this for wandering specifically. We have a resonator versus Oh, dual room is... Uh, okay, well, never mind. Guess we're not watching that one. Uh, you'll just have to take my word for it that it was Resonator versus uh, Orcus, and the Resonator 2 owed them. Yo, what up, my boy? Booty Bear, thank you so much for the support, my friend. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we could watch another S-Force one. I think we might get back to you. Is there any of the other new decks here? Ooh. I do want to see this version of Orcus, so we might watch you. We are peeking, people. We are peeking. 
looking for any other spicy decks. We got a Gandora gadget. Okay, we're going to watch this one, though. I do want to see... Crystal Beast Orcus. What is the best deck in my opinion? Uh, I, I think it is too, too early to tell that, honestly. Alrighty, so what are we doing here? We have uh, Crystal Beast using Transcendent Crystals. Uh, you do have to play a bunch of bricks in your deck to be able to play the skill on your first turn, but they try and incorporate that by uh, using the Crystal Beast cards to your advantage. Let's see if they're able to do that. So Harp Horror. Sapphire Cat into Galatea. Orcus Nightmare. We're gonna Wand. Setting Babel, so we are on the Babel version. Rank up into Dingirsu. Going into another copy of Galatea and setting one back row. We're going to go Kepler. Kepler adding Dark Contract of the Witch. We're going to go Orthos. Get Poppin'. That back row is a Compulse. Okay. Good luck, gamer. You're going to need it. Pendulum Summon 1 and 2. Doom King Armageddy. We're going to get Baboostin. Taking out the Galatea, Symbol Skeleton, bring the Dingirsu. Dingirsu gets Sending, Harp Horror Effect, bring out the Symbol, and pass back to Quebra. We're going to go into a Nightmare Phoenix. Nightfair, Nightmare Phoenix, get popping. Symbol Skeleton, bring back the Dingirsu. So we had Lethal, except we're playing White Princess. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pendulum Summon 1 and 2. Using the Nightmare Phoenix's uh, arrow to get that extra summon. Into the Cypher Dragon. Get Yoinkin. Rank up into a full armor. Attack and attack for lethal. Okay then. Uh we forgot to announce that. Whoops. Bum 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 bum. Game number two. Uh, give me just one second, guys. I will be right back.
Sorry, guys. I apologize. So, we go into a Long Girsu this time instead of a Galatea. Or rather, we extend into it. We did negate the effect, right? No, wait. Oh, link to mo okay, send it to the graveyard. Never mind. It's not a negate. Right, 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 right. Alright, looks like we do have the breakdown. I'll go ahead and share that in just a moment. Sorry, guys. Bonishin the Long Girsu going into the Cypher Dragon. Cypher Dragon, get yoinkin'. Um, not quite lethal, but good luck, gamer. We're going to summon the Crystal Beast. We're going to go Long Girsu to the field. End phase, get popping, taking out. The other reason you're playing the Crystal Beast package, Crystal Conclave, and that will be the end of the game. So I think we found a reason for why DDD might not be playing uh, Dingirsu. We are taking advantage of the fact that we can just steal our opponent's Dingirsu. Very nice. 2-0 victory for the DDD. Well done. Let's go ahead and find another match. What do we got here? What do we got? You got a you got a spicy deck shoe? Oh yes you do. Okay, we'll watch this one for sure. Any Orcus Rocket featuring Majestic Light? I have seen that build. I do not know if we have any of that one. We will investigate. Let's go ahead and bring up the breakdown for today's event. Oh, wow. Definitely saw a pretty big fall off of uh, at least one deck. Weekly 276. Isn't the new tier list update a bit too early? Yes and no. Keep in mind that the tier list has been delayed several times uh, by the fact that um, they very specifically had the KC Cup, so you had the KC Cup tier list, then you had the ban list, then you had the new box. At a certain point, you just have to put out a, a tier list update, even if it's not going to be perfect. What is this deck? Well, um... Uh... Mm, I don't think we will learn from that. Look, 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 you need to understand. You'll find out. Speed can update my this.
Alrighty. Sorry, guys. Just want to get this. Uh... It should come as no surprise that people are pretty excited about Orcist. Thirteen Orcist, eight Hero, six DDD. Quite an increase there. Three Gandora, which are going to be variants of Orcist, I believe. Uh, three Phantom Knight, three S Force, two Trickstar, then one each of Burning Abyss, Odd Eyes, Resonator, Rocket, Rose Dragon, Salamangrate, Sulphacord, and Edaten. Have I seen the uh, Elements Unite version of Orcist? Yes. Uh, we've seen that deck before. It's uh, Light and Darkness. Or Darkness Light, rather. Give yourself a roll and you will win. Alrighty. So what exactly did we accomplish here? Onomatopoeia, Gaga Ga Revenge. We got the Automata pickup. Able to get into the Beatrice. One back row. Beatrice is going to dump the wand. Coral Bane to Bob Boost. Uh, and we just. Okay. Not going to lie. A little disappointed. We're not actually getting to see what the heck happened here. Oh, right, yeah, he can't baboose it because he's not point. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that is pretty hilarious. Alrighty, Onomata pickup, adding a copy of Onomata Para to hand. Onomata Para, discarding a copy of Onomata pickup, searching for a copy of Gagaga sister, and Zubabobancho Gagaga coat to hand. Sister to the field, adding a copy of Gagaga revenge. Coat, special summoning itself, modulating to level 6 into the Lady Beatre. Beatrice, dumping the Harporer revenge. Harporer effect into the Orcus nightmare. We're then going to go into a Galatea Nightmare Effect, dump the Wand, Wand Effect, bring back the Harp Horror, Galatea Effect, setting the Babble. Come forth, Dingirsu, Dingirsu attaching. We're then going to go into another copy of Galatea, Babble Effect, set one and pass the turn. Alrighty, good luck, gamer. We're dumping to get the symbol skeleton into the graveyard. Symbol skeleton is the one that can bring back the monster, right? Yeah, so we can Dingirsu here. Licorice effect. This is not going to do anything. Setting a copy of Return. Uh-huh. Horobane to the field. Beatrice dumping the Tackle Crusader. And we'll get the scoop. Okay. That looked a lot better. Uh, although it may... Um, is this match over, or is this just bugged? Okay, no, 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 it's just bugged. It was a 2-1 victory. Am I scared that we are becoming Mini Master Duel? No, because if any deck gets too close to that, then they'll just smack it with a bunch of limitations. You, okay, let's assume worst case scenario. Oh my god, it is full-blown Orcus Tier 0. They'll just start hitting things. 
Congratulations, you have a bunch of limit threes now. Okay, that wasn't enough. Congratulations. You know, Galatea's limit three, Harpor's limit three, and Orcus Nightmare's limit three. They can't put Ultra Rares to one currently. Jabber work, so they would have to do goofy stuff with like a bunch of limit threes. But that said, yeah, if it ever got to that point, they would be able to handle it relatively quickly. Um, only two matches left in the round. Anything interesting here? Ooh, yes. Another variant of Orcus. How are you cooking it? No Chronomalies, nope. Alrighty, King at the bottom, Hans at the top. Um, and then also, just FYI, I forgot to announce that we are post ban list on the skills. This is a given. But if we see anybody use the PK skill incorrectly in round one, uh, please ignore it. Uh, round two and onwards, uh, it will be in full of force. But yeah, I we are by in we are in no means in any danger of becoming quote unquote mini master duel. I mean <laughs> they want you to actually have like back and forth interactions and have killed almost any deck that stops that. I don't see them any S force, yes. Um how is the box looking? Uh, Orcus is probably going to be all over the metagame for the next while. We're already mini Master Duel. I don't know if I agree with that, JG. Hello. We really are just out here setting one and passing, huh? I mean, as more cards come, we'll become Mini Master Duel eventually. Uh, yes and no. The thing is, you have to consider about that is that the ban list... First of all, they're going out of their way to make sure uh, that we're not getting the really powerful stuff. Like, can we again talk about... I mean, can we talk about the fact that, you know, Salomon Great doesn't have Roar, doesn't have Rage? because those cards are problems. They're not a problem in something like Master Duel or TCG because of the power level of the game, but they would obviously be problems here. They didn't give, uh... S-Force doesn't have Dog Tech Devastated, true. Um... Uh, they very specific, they, they didn't even try to do something stupid like make you choose between one card and crescendo they didn't even want to make it an option so they just avoided crescendo uh completely all right the gear gigant adding a copy of harp horror to hand here's here's the real fun part very easy access to okay if we if we didn't do what we did here we could have just gandora and discarded the harp horror as well so that's why gandora is being seen as an option for the uh orcus engine is a skill that helps you get to your orcus pieces and then can discard them from hand for sure And then, oh, on top of that, you know, you can just randomly Gandora your um, opponent out of nowhere. So having Gandora in the wings, just sitting there waiting, uh, can be really nice. Any prediction for box chips? Uh, not yet, unfortunately. Hello, Sean. 
Um, the hopium in me wants to believe that they're literally like skill chips, but for cards, and that you'll be able to earn them just like you can with skill chips. The 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 worst one would be if is if, if they are only accessible to people who spend money. The best outcome is that you can get them from both events and from purchasing sales. But if it is a way to incentivize people to, or to help people out, how to put this? Think about those worst case scenarios where your box accidentally reset and you're like, I, I needed that one last ultra rare. My box accidentally reset and I now have to spend, you know, another X amount of money to get that last ultra rare that I need. If box chips are a way to avoid that, that's probably the most likely thing what they are, which is you can earn enough chips to get that one ultra rare you're missing. But again, best case scenario, they are literally like skill chips. You earn them at like the same rate of, as skill chips. And then you can just get the equivalent of like two to three cards per, well, I don't know actually. I don't think I've kept up on how many skill chips you really earn. Well, let's say like you could earn like a hundred a month or something, like one card. If you, even if you're only getting one dream equivalent, dream ticket equivalent, earnable per month that's already a, a better than than what we're at so it's better than nothing and then if the po if the positivity towards something like that was enough you would hope that they would then incentivize it a bit more or something because like here's the thing if you if you're konami yes that is an in indeed a very fat hand Book of Moon, forcing it out. Um, let's assume, like, okay, you're John Konami out there trying to incentivize people to play your game. If you put more ways to earn just even a small number, I'm talking minuscule amounts of box chips, right? Let's say that you could earn, you know, five box chips from this event, 10 from this event, five from this event, you know, 10 from PVP, etc. You increase people wanting to actually log in and play your game because they're like, well, I'm not interested in anything else, but I would absolutely do this dumb event just to get those dream ticket shards, etc. Let's be real, Duel Links needs crafting. Well, obviously it's what we're talking about. but incentivize people to actually do your events. Like, for example, right now, I I do the events just because I'm a completionist. Do I really need to do them? No, but give me a reason to do them, like earnable, earnable stuff like the um, uh, box chips. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do every event 100%. Uh, L3, I'd have to go check the bot, but it's a lot. The events are honestly terrible. I mean, it depends on what you're, what you mean by terrible. Like, PvP events like the Duelist Kingdom that we're getting, I'm absolutely on board for. Why isn't he Gandorian? I think he tried to. He got Book of Mooned twice. Well, okay, but here, okay, it's repetitive, but we're talking about something that, like, you auto duel to. You're not supposed to. Like, I'm sorry, but you are not... Oh, hold on. I got to announce to the Discord. Meta Weekly Alert. Round two has begun. And... Can you... Can, hello? Start GG. Can you let me message?
Okay, there we go. Uh, we are now in round number two. Did Buns join? No. Come on now. Okay, so here. I'm just going to bring it up really quickly. This event, something like this event here. Are you supposed to play this and be like, ah, yes, let me, let me carefully auto or uh, normally do each one of these duels. No, you're not going to do that. You're literally going to click this button over and over and then just get free experience for your characters that you're leveling up. It, does this event existing make me go like, well, guys, let me tell you about the fantastic experience I've had in Duel Links doing the Cosmic Class Number Dyson Sphere event. Uh, I'll get the breakdown for you in a second, sorry. No, the event is just like a do-nothing event that you just... It doesn't require any of your time, energy, whatever. You just click the button. How many X2 make it? I'll do that breakdown in just a moment. Um, it's just something going on. You know? I like that. I like having, like... You know, guys. Auto battlers and auto click and, and clickers and whatnot are popular for a reason. Because it's just something that's happening off to the side. I don't know. If you're talking about like the events, like uh, the PVP events, I think for the most part, they've been fine. Some of them are awful, but some of them are good. I don't know. Like, I would really like to hear what a good event would be to somebody. Like, <laughs> okay, the answer can't be no events. What is a good event to you? What would make you want to play a game? Specifically, KC Cup, Duelist Kingdom event. I like the ones with the spin the wheel. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, um, the, the road ones or whatever. Sure. The old dice event? Okay, sure. That was a pretty good one. Second. By the way, when can we, uh, when can I expect the Chronomaly video loom? I know you're out here farming all these people rabid for their Orcus deck lists. But we know the real best deck out of the box. When can I expect that? Uh, we'll watch this one. No one cares for chronomalies. Okay, Elmaz, you may be correct, but that still hurts. Yeah, I keep tweaking the deck list. Um, you obviously need ways to play in the back row, so I'm probably going to have to give in and add some MSTs or Lances to my list. But I really don't want to have to, but I think I'm going to have to. God, what I wouldn't give for them to reduce the uh, amount of Chronomaly monsters you have to play in your deck. Like, even if they just reduced it to 10 instead of 12. Ugh. 
All righty, Louise versus Cole. Uh, sorry to follow you, Cole, but I want to see Louise, or specifically this particular matchup. The double Tuspa rocket, uh, you think three? Yeah, I was, I was very specifically, I wanted to put Crystal Bones back into the deck, but I also wanted to keep the, the skull because I do like being able to do technology to dig for back row. You wanted less. Really? You don't like Tuspa Rocket? I want like all the one cards. I want all of the one card um, Vamanas that I can get on into. Like I'm almost tempted to try going back into Gordian Knot. Well, I look forward to potentially seeing a different different build. I'm not by no means am I saying that my build is the way to go, by the way. Uh, okay. Going into our yellow star here. Mirror Resonator is going to be able to return to the field. Do we have another form of interruption? A Barrage Blast with Vimana. That loop just feels so incredibly good. Oh my god, does it feel so good. Yo, what up, Icy? Thank you so much for the raid, my friend. How did your tournament go, by the way? Hope it was well. We're going to go ahead and send the yellow star to the graveyard. Cosmic Cyclone getting rid of the red rain that was set. That does remove a column, so we cannot extend any further if we had another copy of a Mech Knight in hand. Oh. Is the dream real? Okay. Hold. And never mind. Yes, I believe Icy had a tournament due to his sponsorship. We're going to go ahead and activate Harp here. We have gone through a lot of our resources, but this deck can recover from that. The only thing we have to worry about is whatever that back row is. Yes, we are specifically watching this matchup because I want to see how Resonators do against Orcus. One of the concerns is was is that Resonators might be pushed out of the metagame because of their inability to deal with um, the Orcus resource game. Louise 2 owed an Orcus player in the first round, so we're looking to see if he's going to be able to repeat that. How strong is Orcus with the new cards? Uh, very good, Zero. Very good. Um, the most interesting, so like the most interesting thing about it is just that the the different decks that are taking advantage of uh, the Orcus engine. That's the more interesting thing. Like you have your, you know. I've seen I've seen everything from Gandora Orcist. I've seen Rocket Orcist. I've seen okay, like okay. Do I have it on the my computer here? I want to show you this abomination I played against. He, this this stuff is gonna be everywhere. It is absolutely disgusting. Sealing the tombs. Can we talk about Desperado Trickstar Orcus? So 
So you Candina searching Corobane, summon the Corobane. I mean, you could probably do even better by just like incorporating the uh, the, the mermaid engine, because then you could go Candina Corobane into mermaid, or sorry, into one of your, you could just you do that route. Like I played against this and I'm like, Okay, we're playing against 30 card Trickstar. That's kind of weird, but let's okay, okay, let's do this. We're doing this, and then it's like, wait, 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 what? You're doing what? No, ex wh oh, whoa, wh what? Oh, I beat them, Sierra. I beat them, but it was just the fact that they're out here like it, it's the definition of like. Hold on, hold. Hold, let him cook. Like, I had the opportunity to, like, disrupt it early, but I was like, I want to know where you're going with this. Uh, okay, well, what ended up happening was he activated... He, he already had Korobane in hand, but he activated Candina. I negated with Vamana. I reattached with Vamana's effect. He he went Korobane. I'm like, okay, I want to see what you do from here. And he like linked into something. I can't remember what. And then I was just like, okay, whatever. Barrage Blast, blow it up. Don't care. Who Like literally who asked. Do you think that the skill goes unhit that long? I mean, probably right, because realistically speaking, like that list is kind of a meme, so it probably goes under the radar, unless Konami specifically is paying attention to stuff like those kind of videos. It'll be hit within a week. I don't... See, that's the thing. I'm not sure that it's gonna be. Unless you literally started having, like, an... If it shows up on, like, the ladder list of skills, like, anywhere, anywhere, like, say, top 20, even top 20 skills, maybe then. But I have a feeling... I don't know about that. It probably flies under the radar, just because it won't be consistent enough at pausing like the cancer games. Hello, Itzer. All right, Louise is going to be able to set up his combo here uninterrupted, it looks like. How long did the Star Blast skills last? Oh, that is a good question. Uh, it actually was a little bit of time, if I remember correctly. I'm not excited for this meta in particular, Gate. I'm excited for any kind of meta shakeup. I like people being able to have fun. Also, as a tried and true chrono gamer it's finally nice to to have the deck at least uh so somewhat good how can we save infernoid uh by taking it out back and putting it out of its misery that way you can save its soul because the body does not deserve to live We're going to go ahead and activate our Forbidden Chalice here. You will not be summoning a token. Okay. Wants to save the Red Rain here. Orchestrated Return. Sending the Symbol Skeleton. Not an ideal send. How much back row do we end on, though? Only one back row. Okay. Could be high impact. Although, realistically speaking, uh, we can red rain to negate it, essentially. So, never mind. Next ban list, they better unlimit Karakuri. Um, I mean, yeah. 
realistically speaking, couldn't Karakuri be fully unlimited? What? Okay, let's be, okay, hold on. Let's be careful about this. Karakuri by itself was able to set up what? A, essentially an econ turn to defense and a negate, right? Is there anything, like, how else would we be breaking it? Are we incorporating, like, mech knights into it? Are we going Karakuri Orcus? Uh, excuse me? All right, so we can go into Tyrant here. Come forth, Tyrant. This will be able to reset our red rain as well. We have lethal on field, so we have the ability to pop, we have the ability to battle negate, and we have red rain back on the field. I'm thinking this is probably over. Curry Kara Kara Curry best deck, oh god. Is S-Force good? S-Force is decent, but it is unproven. It is theoretically good, but not, it's probably like not tier one good. Having played around with it a little bit, the deck is cool, but I do think it has some speed and power issues. Like you're gonna be like winning on like turn, turn six, you know, that kind of thing. Turn six or seven, you're gonna you're gonna like grind your opponent. Okay, maybe I said that uh poorly. It's not that it's stall, it's that the play pattern of the deck by putting like your summoned monsters into defense just restricts your ability to be aggressive. Be aggressive. Be, be aggressive. Uh, is this the same game? No, because we discarded Archfiend. Okay. How is Shu doing today? Um, uh, how is Shu doing? Let us take a quick peek. They won their first round. I know that much. We are double checking. They are currently up one game against a Yusef. We get crowed here, stopping our play, but in return, we Lancey our opponent. Phantom Sky Blaster, creating the token. This will allow us to go into our nightmare play. Nightmare Cerberus. <laughs> Oh, because we can't banish. <laughs> Our own Lancia working against us. How many Galaxy Trance is going to be used? Um, 
I'll be honest with you, Kaggle, I don't think I can answer that question fairly. It will either be a... I can't see it being a three of, because realistically speaking, you can only... Oh, a nice top deck, by the way. You can only ever play one or activate one copy of it in most situation. So my gut instinct says one to two, maybe like two in you'll play you could play two in a Xyz galaxy build and you'd probably play exactly one in a um in a galaxy photon build that's my gut instinct but i can't say that for sure Phantom Sky Blaster attempt number two. Come forth, Nightmare Phoenix, discarding the last card in our hand. Did not. Oh, could not activate Red Rain. Okay. Can we even do anything from here? Tri tri okay. Chill, bro. Chill. Proceeding to the end phase. We are gonna banish. Ooh, okay. Ice Dragon's Prison is gonna go ahead and punish this, leaving both players on exactly one card on field. However, Louise will draw. We can bridge into our Pixie Dragon. Can the, can't the Mirror Resonator return? No, it cannot. Still cannot activate that Red Rain. Uh, Red Rain... No, no, no. So, Mirror Resonator requires your opponent to control a face-up extra deck monster, and you do not. We had a face-up extra deck monster. And then Red Rain requires a level 8 or higher synchro. Sealing the tombs! <laughs> Symbol Skeleton, that is absolutely awful. Well, actually, wait, no, hold on. Do we have a... Do we have it? We have no Orcus monsters still. Okay, okay. That is the top deck of the century. Scrap Recycler sending Orcus Harpoor to the graveyard. <laughs> Bruh. Come forth, Orcus and Nightmare. We shall proceed onwards into Galatea. We 
We have access to Galatea effect, to Nightmare effect, and Wand effect. I mean, we're big waiting here, so like, I think you would have gotten rid of this a long time ago, right? Because we could ding at any moment. But we'll see. Ding Gear Sue effect. Non targeting send. Yo, what good, Dom? We have lethal here, though? I don't think so. We do, however, have access to orchestrated release. Good game, sir. Forcing out the orchestrated release. And we have nothing. Cole will win in game number two. Came down to that top deck. Or sorry, game three, rather. Game three. Game three. That, that is a match win. Alrighty. Let us find another match. Uh, alrighty guys, we are just about to hit our edges. So uh, I do apologize. We're going to take a brief break, let those run. And when we come back, we will have our next match. Stick around. Be right back.
Uh, I want to say that's my first Lightning Chidori I've ever seen summoned. So that's pretty funny. We will get the scoop in game number one. To game two. All right, so we missed, I missed game one, but I'm back for game two here. We got Gandora. Orcus versus Crystal Beast Orcus. Wait, could we really not do any more than that? So we sent Harp Horror. Is there anything stopping us from using it? Going Galatea? I don't think it's a skill. Okay, well. Don't know what that was all about, but I guess we take those. Wagon too strong. True! Oh god, super heavy samurai taking over the OCG, TCG, and now Dual Links. Only Master Duel is still protected. All right, so discarding, we're gonna go Rainbow Bridge into a Beacon. Beacon will allow us to summon out a Ruby Carbuncle. Ruby will summon both of the Pegasi. We're going to go ahead and reset here, or adding, rather, more material to the back. Come forth, why our four Strix, four Strix adding a copy of Zephyros the Elite. We'll then go into a Nightmare Phoenix, into a Mermaid, discarding a copy of Zephyros. We will then go further into Galatea. Zephyros effect, back to the field. Summoning the Pegasus. We're then going to go into a copy of Abyss Dweller. No! <laughs> Bro! That is... Bro, it's, it's tear all over again. It's literally tear all over again. Except in, instead of... Instead of, like, the mermaid women, now it's just, like... Musical robots and frickin'... Whatever the hell these things are. Able to do that before getting dark locked, by the way. Harp, bring out the nightmare. Simple skeleton, bring back the nightmare. We're gonna go ding here. Dweller, starting things off. Soup! Super Heavy Samurai Wagon, adding a copy of Super Hever Heavy Samurai Soul Horns. We're going to send a card back, getting a copy of Gandora, Dragon of Destruction. Release is going to say no to this play. Oh, Crow, okay. Hold. Okay. I mean...
it looked good. And then we got dinged with 2,000 life points. Unlucky. Well done, Elsune. I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally just your deck list. And I don't say that in a mean way. Uh, Neo is um, one of my former uh, teammates, and I think I saw him talking about it. Alrighty. Um, we do not take those. Is this Loom from Dual Link's Best of the Deck? Yes, it is. Or as he is known now. Isn't it like Master Duel Link's best decks? Regardless. If you want to check him out. Be sure to do so on the YouTubes. I'm a big fan. So, uh, the person that we are watching here, we have Ritz versus Agnes. Agnes is one of the Master Duel deck helpers, actually. They've decided to come over here and uh, play in the mud with us. I think they're actually the Orcus deck helper over there. I need to double check. Uh, one of the things that was actually really neat to see was uh, on release day of Orcus, you could definitely see that there was a non-insignificant non amount of hype because I think the Duel Links category unironically hit like almost 3,000 viewers and that like never happens anymore. Sunrise to the field, Sun I mean, you don't even need Trinity here. I'll be honest, I, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to double check Agnes, Agnes status over on uh, the Master Duel Meta Discord. I know they're a helper, I just forgot which one it was for. I think it's, I think it's actually Orcus though. Alrighty, game one, going to Ritz. To game two. But yeah, so definitely cool to see the, the hype that people were on. Um, we saw deck channels way more active than usual, so that was neat as well. Uh, 
Alrighty, we're gonna go Galatea here, dumping the World Wand. World Wand to bring back the Orcus Nightmare. We're gonna recycle the World Wand, getting our copy of Babel here. Come forth, Dingirsu. Reattaching, going into another Galatea and passing the turn. Reinforcements of the army. So what do we have access to here? We have Orcus Nightmare Effect. We just got ourselves Skeleton that will be able to bring back the Ding. We're going to get Reduce it on the Galatea, send that back row back. Vision Hero Ferris to the field. That's going to bring out a copy of Increase, Increase Effect. Come forth, Dingirsu, Vion effect, Dingirsu effect, we're gonna get sending. We've got the fusion substitute, this will allow us to get into a sunrise, sunrise searching for a miracle fusion. We'll be able to extend into another sunrise here. Nope, we're gonna go Great Tornado. And, the, and we win this game? Get reducing. How do we... Harporer effect. Galatea effect. Okay, so we're going to get another body on the field. Getting the return as well. Full clear the field. Activating return. Babel effect is going to be able to recycle itself. MST taking out the book. Link Slayer to the field. Bring back the ding. Ding gets send in. Scrap Recycler. We've got everything. We're going to triple link into Longirisu. The effect to regenerate our resources. Sending. We are dismantling this board systematically. Babel back to the field. World Wand. And then we just pass the turn. Could we have done anything else here? It looks like uh, round two has just concluded, so we will be in round number three. Round three has begun. Ding to the field once again, just continuously the cycle, send, 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 over and over. And the final game. So we are playing Storm Access. Interesting. Have we actually even taken taken advantage of that skill? Are we hoping to just randomly be able to make... What are some of the... Remind me, I need to look at that skill again. What, what, uh, which ones can you randomly get? Storm access... Duelings. Is this literally a situation of like, the skill literally doesn't matter? So, Decode Talker, Firewall Dragon, Encode Talker, Xcode Talker, Power Code Talker, Transcode Talker, Shooting Code Talker, Decode Talker Extended, and Decode Talker Heat Soul. Okay. Add access code talker, you cowards. We're actually playing 
the Link Karibo. Nightmare Unicorn gets spinning, symbol effect. Into the Dingirsu, and lethal on board. Agni's winning game number three. Is extended new? No, it's been in there. All right, we are round three. Access code not okay, but RPG Prince, you're literally talking about a skill that only activates when you're at a thousand life points or less. You're telling me that it wouldn't be hype AF to be on your like, I have 100 life points left. Let me activate my skill. Get access code talker. Like, that's not going to break the game. People aren't out here like, well, yes, I have my one card access code combo and I started off with triple cosmic cyclone to get into it. All you need to do is, oh, of course, just, just play three cosmic cyclone. It's just that easy. I want a skill similar, but with Mystic. Alrighty, time out. Oof. For, um, forever. I do apologize, chat. I will literally never allow them to say anything like that ever again. Trigger warning for, uh, Mystic Mind. What is the new bottle skill skill update? What do you mean bottle skill? Can you, uh, oh, boral skill. So the change to uh, the boral skill is actually really cool. Uh, this has been covered before, but, uh, whoop, wrong one. Up updated skill balancing. So the main The above description has been updated as a... Wait, they updated it? They update it with... Are they keep... Okay, whatever. The main benefit is that you no longer have to return a card. So, it's similar to how Hero Alliance used to uh, require you to... Uh, uh, send a card back. So now you're going to get the ability to just get Boot Sector launch for free. I mean, effectively, it's like you're playing Striker Dragon without Striker Dragon being in the game. So. That's okay. That seems fine to me. Alrighty, let us find our first match of round three. Any spicy matchups? Shall we go watch another S-Force match? I think so. We've been watching a lot of Orcus. Let's see if we can give some love to some of the other decks as well. This game just getting ridiculous day by day. How come no cost is fine for you? You realize that the cost is that you're playing rockets, right? You're playing essentially pure rockets. That is the cost. Like, my guy, that's... I don't... 
I think some people seem to forget skills exist for two reasons. The number one reason that a skill should exist is to make old decks that are not viable or have significant like issues with them that keeping them from being viable. Brother, I play Fire Fist. Okay. Cthulhu, if you want to have the conversation that Konami should look out for people like you who play non-good, non-anime decks, I'm all about that. I think every deck should have a viable skill. Like, that is meant for it. The fact that Fire Fist doesn't, that's unfortunate. I wish they did. I If you want to... If you want to tell me what to put in every single um, survey going forward. Okay, but so your argument is because other people have good skills, they should lose their skills because you don't have a good skill? Like, I don't know about that one. Tear others down because I don't like my place in the game right now. Like, nah fam, nah fam. World Chows should have a skill for themselves. Uh, Hiro Kyoko, I do not disagree. I've said this many times. Also, yes, excuse me, what? Um, has society gone too far? Was humanity actually a mistake? Okay, wait, hold up, hold, excuse me? What does this card even do? Once per turn, you can banish one monster from your field or graveyard to target one Orcus or World Legacy card you control. Except core, neither player can target it with card effects this turn. Uh, excuse me, what? We're adding Dark Armed Dragon to our hand? Excuse me? Huh? Also, why is Ojama Blue an attack? Does it have to be an attack? Normal summon. Yes, it does. Okay. S Force Justify. Tie that binds. We're going to attack. Moving. And. <laughs> Criminal scum detected. Banishing the uh, Long Gear Sue and the Ding Gear Sue. We have Dark Arm Dragon to the field. We can negate at any point. Uh, we're just going to Lancia. Okay. What just happened? So S Force Justify has the effect that. At the start of the damage step, if this attacks, you can banish all monsters it points to. He is pointing up and to the side. We negated Longirsu, and when you negate a monster, you can move them to a position he's pointing to. So that's how we got the Longirsu there. However, we're going to need something else here because um, right now we can beat over with Dark Armed Dragon. We can negate the Nightmare Phoenix here if we want to. Do we want to protect that back row?
This new box is so expensive. Hello, Soup. Big fan. Hope you are well, my friend. Uh, so Cthulhu, the box is actually incredibly cheap if you exactly do not go after S-Force. If you skip S-Force and just want the Orcus stuff, you can literally... Wait, what about so? Activating S-Force Chase. Bonition, or rather returning to hand. You need two of each ultra rare. Uh, Serenity, you can start off playing with one. Uh, do not go for Magistus. If you wanted to go for specifically S-Force, that's fine. And I can see that and agree. Never go for Magistus. Uh, apparently we forgot that uh, Nightmare Phoenix can't be destroyed by battle. We should have bunished it, but hey, what are you going to do? We can always fix that next time. One, two, three, four. We now have three darks in the graveyard. Fourth, Dingir Su. Dingir Su effect. This, I mean, you have to negate this. Justify. We'll go ahead and say no. Wait, does this work? Oh, so you would just banish the Ningirsu? Wait, does it work that way? So you'd banish the Ningirsu, send it. Yeah. All right, game number one. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Is this undefeated? Uh, no. I believe this is one and one. Let me double check. Yeah, they're one and one. Oh, and somebody asked earlier, and I didn't actually answer the question. Uh, Top Cut Simulator. Today will be... We had 46. Rounds 4. Top Cut 16. So that means... Uh, one to two players at X2 will top today. So you pretty much need to go undefeated or lose in exactly the last round. Most likely. You use your UR dream ticket on Pot of Duality, and hey, you're going to go for what you want to go for, my friend. I will just say that whenever you spend your gems or your dream tickets, always have a goal in mind. If you are free to play, trying to focus on debt. Okay.
This is a world that we live in. Adding a copy of Gravitino. Don't forget the UR and Dream and SR Dream tickets expire May 15th. Thank you for the reminder, Speedy God. Everyone, if you have Dream tickets in your inventory, double check them. See if any of them are going to be expiring in the next two weeks. Two weeks, rather. What if you don't have a goal and have 14 days to spend? Then get the best staples you can. It is, in fact, an Ojama Blue. Um, was there a reason to not put one of these monsters in the column with it we could have literally avoided this had we just put one of these monsters yes you're leaving your opponent an emz but that seems fine to me okay Adding two copies of Oja Match. So, hold on. You want me to say that Gravitino is my brother in Italian? Is that a guy? I can't tell. This seems incredibly ambiguous. Activating S Force Showdown. We're going to go ahead and special summon Platina. Activating S Force Chase. Return those cards to the hand, which will actually be punished. Alrighty, proceed to the end phase. One card against full monster field. Now, <laughs> goodbye. Mind the Plana. Taking advantage of the fact that all these Orcus players would love nothing more than, than to be able to access their uh, banished uh, pile. But, uh, nope. Gone. Is Mind of the Plana going to be the go-to skill for decks that don't need a skill? If you expect to see uh, Orcus everywhere? Hmm... Oh, and also, I do apologize. A uh, big shout out to all the raiders who came by from uh, My Boy Soup. Uh, were you, uh, what were you streaming, Soup? Were you doing, um, were you doing some Team Wars stuff or were you doing something for DLE? 
or were you just big chilling on your own? Yo, what up, Kyle? Hello, hello. Oh, it was main phase stuff? Okay, cool, cool. Obviously, I'm, I was a little distracted here, so I wasn't able to see. <laughs> and we go to game three. Excuse me. He was doing a cooking stream heating soup. No joke, I think I might watch that. Just have the camera focused in. I want to see that first burbling, like, air bubble pop. Well, that is about the best opener that you can hope for. And Lancia. Okay, Scrap Recycler Pass. Very nice. Well, keep in mind that this is an example of side deck in action. Although, Artifact Lancia may become main deck worthy. Um, that said, do keep an eye on the difference in performance of decks between side deck and no side deck events going forward. <laughs> not gonna lie unironically one of the funniest things was having who was it was it was it speedy god it was one of the users who actually unironically thought that it was something was wrong with this screen he's like why is your camera stuck like that? What's going on? Platina to the field. So we can we get lethal here so we can get 1823. I think that's exact lethal, isn't it? Oh we know we're not ties at mine. Never mind. What am I talking about? Only one back row though. This is a bit spoopy. One cosmic and we're back in the game. Wait a second. What's up with this music? Is this new? Or did I just never notice this? What is this one?
No, this has to be new. Shut up, Deathroy. This is pretty good. I like it. D GX got new winning losing music while DSOD got new losing. I'm going to have to check those out. S-Force Chase. Bonition. Wait, DM has it as well, Kamora? Okay, let's see if we can actually spot the the difference here. So I was double checking to see if they had the um, a, the music added to the music player. Okay, this skill is applied only once a duel at the beginning of your fourth turn onward. This skill is applied only once a duel at the beginning of your fourth of your turn after turn four. Oh, oh, wait, that's. That means it's turn f after turn four. Okay, okay. So that means it'll always be the, your third turn after turn four. So it'll be always turn five. Turn. F yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So that's um, that's good. It means that it wasn't nerfed. It wasn't a buff and a nerf. It was just a buff. Just a buff. Just a buff. That's good. That's good. So S Force win it. They're now two and one. Going to have an opportunity to uh, make it to the top cut. That's good. That's good. Yeah, it's worded poorly. Obviously, do not disagree. Uh, we're going to watch some more S-Force gaming. I have world chat turned off so I don't see those ads anymore. I would advise people to do the same. Oh no! I want to see all the terrible stuff that people are saying in the chat. Unironically, every once in a while, I'll just open up and go to like room one just to see what's going on there. Show you the breakdown again? Yeah. Uh, let me let me do that for you. I want to see the dumbest stuff. I want to see people role playing in in Duel Links chat. No, 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 no! It's not nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine gems anymore. Any, uh, anymore, Cole? 
It is infinite gems. Infinite, literally infinite. All right, light stage activating. We're forced to use the compulse, use it or lose it. Candiner gets banished. We're gonna go ahead and festival here. Come forth, Devardis. We're gonna go ahead and summon Gravitino over Gravitino. This is not ideal, but I guess you gotta do what you gotta do. Ties that bind, attacking in, taking out Candiner. Reinforcements of the army. We're going to go ahead and add a copy of Rappa Chiyomaru. Ties that bind. Attacking in. 1,022. And pass back to Chagas. Oh, Candina, you love to see it. Lily Bell to the field. Come forth, Lily Bell. We're going to go into Crimson Heart. And then just pass the turn. Um, Needex, please tell me you didn't try and kill it with uh, Nightmare Cerberus, please. Okay. Okay. It worked out. The back row was probably like three needle ceilings or something. We watch this in the wrong order. So three effects. We're gonna bridge head searching for edge razor. Why would you Add Edge Razor and then not Edge Razor into Chiwamaru. Festival Protect. We're going to Needle Ceiling here as Force Chase. Edge Razor into Chiwamaru. Banishin. And as for its chase, searching for a copy of Bridgehead here. Interesting. Getting in for 17, passing back. We're going to go ahead and showdown, adding Platina back to hand. Chiwamaru. Banishin Chiwamaru. Searching for a copy of Bridgehead once again. Rack down. We're going to go ahead and bounce that. Not today. 18, 23, and lethal. So are the S-Force extra deck monsters not played? Not really. You, It's, um, they don't have a good way to not lose out on the massive resources. So... They'd rather just keep the bodies on the field for the biggest, um, for the biggest, um, S-Force chase. Um, so we must have watched game number two and three. Okay. That's a 2-1 for the S-Force player. Well done.
Just a couple games left in the round. We are also coming up on the edge break, but I think we can sneak in a couple games before that happens. And then we'll be ready for round four, last round before the top cut. Yeah, I think Compulse Stonks are on the rise, like, in general. As Nalra said, it's a good, uh, it's a good middle ground trap that's almost always gonna have some use. Gear Gigan X searching for a copy of Kiteroid. Going Nightmare Phoenix. Into Nightmare Mermaid. Discarding the Kiteroid. Determination to fight. We're gonna add a copy of Giga Ray's Gandora. Come forth Galatea. Dumping the heart. Heart for the symbol. We're going to go ahead and then get ourselves a copy of Orchestrated Release. Into the Ding. Ding attach and pass back to you. Josmar is on Heroes. We're going to go ahead and Solid Soldier into the Vion. Bring back the Ding Girsu, sending the Vion. That's okay. We got polymerization with Elemental Hero Liquid Soldier in our hand. Can you be more blessed? Go ahead and bring the Vion back to the field via the uh, Solid Soldier's effect. Vion adding a copy of Fusion Substitute. We will then Miracle Fusion. Bonishin into a second copy. Draw two, discard one. We get poppin'. Kiteroid to keep us alive, but we're gonna take 33 to the dome. Galatea, we're gonna get recycling here, setting a copy of Orchestrated Return. This is gonna be a free draw two. Come forth, Dean Gearsu, get sending, hitting that back row, compulse it up. We're going to Determination to fight once again. One more back row to deal. Just one back row. Come forth, Gandora. Dragon of Destruction wiping out everything. Wait. One. Oh, we only had two? Did we add the wrong one? So, I think we would have had lethal here if we had added the other Gandora via the first use of the skill. Heroic Champion Excalibur! Already have lethal, but let's, uh, let's just keep continuing. Round three over? Uh, yes. So I am, whoa, whoa, chill, 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 chill. Chat, behave, behave. Congratulations, Puzzling Val. Get ready to take him out. 
Are, are Trick Stars and Heroes still viable in this meta? I have been on and off Duel Links in the past month due to personal stuff, so I was just checking. Uh, yes, absolutely. Both Trick Stars and Heroes are still perfectly viable. Yes. Uh, it remains to be seen just how much they're going to be impacted by Orcus, but if, you, if you're asking, like, are you going to go on the ladder and just get absolutely destroyed? No. You can absolutely do well with both decks. Alrighty, so I'm going to announce to the Discord, round four has begun. Last round before pop cut. Uh, we're about, like I said, we're about to hit edges here, so I'm going to take a quick three minute break. Uh, if you can continue to watch the match, please do so. If not, Afterwards, we will be back with the round four matches before the top cut. Be right back. Have we seen any Element Unite yet? No. Nobody entered with that version of the deck for uh, Dr. Virgo. That's more of a ladder meme. My, my brothers and sisters in Christ, or whatever you, uh, you happen to believe in. What is ha Why are we seeing so many set one passes? Bro! I guess we are 30 card hero. What in the hell?
How do we have no plays? I am so confused. This feels like an incredible misplay. White Princess again. Bro. Stop. He's already dead. Alright, well done, Josmar. And we are now officially in round four. The last round before the top 16. All X and 1s will make it, and 1 to 2 X2s will make it. So there is going to be a bit of a bloodbath in the 2 and 1 category. We are going to go back to watching... Some of the ones we did earlier on, but just because I happen to think that their builds are interesting, at least one of them anyways. Oh, I love Gandoro. Like, unironically, when when uh, when Determination to Stall was actually like a, a good deck, like the first time around, I was fully on board. I love that deck. Absolutely, Cole. But not for you. We're watching for Shu. You just happen to be... You happen to be facing the people that I actually want to watch. So, is what it is. We are watching Onomat Orcist. Come forth Beatrice. Beatrice sending Utopic Onomana Pia. So we can revenge here. Oh, bring back the Utopic on Amanapia, going into the Abyss Dweller. Revenge Bob Boost, setting two and passing turn. We're going to go ahead and Cosmic one of those back row. We snipe the Orchestrated Return, Phantom Sky Blaster, Crackdown, get Yoinkin. And this is probably over. Nightmare Phoenix, get Sendin. Hitting the orchestrated release that is already dead into the Galatea. Then we have all the tools available to us. World Wand. We're going to go ahead and set the Babel. Come forth, Dingirsu. Send that token. Lamau. Very interesting. Very interesting. Kind of like this build. Um, that's game number one. This is cool. Even though everyone's playing Orcus, all the decks are different. That is one benefit of the Orcus engine. I will agree. Like, it may reach the point where it's too much and it needs to be hit. Uh, you know, that's an, uh, probably going to happen. But yes, it is nice to see that people are diversifying to all these different builds. Even in a tournament um, such as ours, you're you're seeing, we've seen, what? Uh, Crystal Beast, Onomat, um, Gandora, Pure, Ojama, Armed Dragon... Like a rocket, I don't think the rocket in today's event is um is uh Orcus. I could be wrong. Let me translate what you just said, my friend, so I can respond to you correctly. Huh? Uh, 
uh, how many people? It was like 50 signups, and I think only a, like a small handful uh, draw or uh, no deck. But it was 50 signups. So we did hit the $50 payout threshold. Alrighty, Shu went first. Now Cole's going to get the opportunity to. Good luck, gamer. Uh, 46, uh, yes. Excuse, hold up. Did we actually activate... what we send? We sent Harp Horror. So we literally didn't even care if we... if. So we got hand information at the bare minimum and are able to send the harp order off of the, uh, off of the, uh, oh, we already lost it. Oh, uh, Aqua Dolphin. Interesting. Mermaid banned soon? Uh, probably not. Realistically speaking, the most likely thing to happen um, is they would like add another card to limit one to make you not able to play Mermaid. Did he activate Sealed Tombs? Yes. Are you speaking? No shot, we're playing Aqua Dolphin like he sold us in Duel Links. Brute Enforcer to the field. Um, I don't know about this one. Activating Harp Horror here. We have now locked ourselves to dark. Come forth, Orcus Nightmare. Why do we even go into the Brood Enforcer? Unless we're going directly to Nightmare Unicorn. Okay. That makes more sense. Get Discarden. Beatrice will, however, respond to this. What are we going to send? Are we going to send follow-up of our own? Or are we running a Farfa? No. So we're going to send 
Harp Horror. This will give us follow-up on the next turn, assuming that our opponent cannot lethal us here. Oh, well, okay. Nope, we got a symbol skeleton. I literally just wasn't paying attention. Welcome back, Dingirsu! I'm sorry, how much off of lethal? Triple back row, by the way. Twelve, thirty-four, twenty-two, lethal. Call winning game number two. Oh no, the Rocket player is currently two and one, fighting for their life, I believe. I believe you send Rocket your, send the Rocket player your energy. I'm not sure how I feel about Orcus being even more techable than Mech Knight. That is both true and wrong, Wandering. Keep in mind that um, Orcus does Dark Lock you. While a lot of decks can play around that, there are some that cannot. Mech Knights don't lock you at all. So, I'm not out here trying to defend it. Like... I'm just saying that you could ab you could also absolutely hit the engine in a way to rein it in when you're ready to do so. Activating Crow, seal the tombs. Didn't mech lock with the trap? Uh, we're talking about as an engine. Like, yeah, yeah, so memory would lock you, but we're talking about, like, what Resonator is currently doing with Mech Knight. You tech in Resonator into Mech, into, or Mech Knight into Resonator simply to get a level 7 body on the field that you can just set special summon for free, etc. They are very likely to give it a KC before they... Oh, no, no. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to the WCQ with this deck. Unless, like, somebody, like, breaks it so fundamentally that, like, nothing else is playable. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it'll get through the WCQ, in my opinion. Most likely, anyways. Be careful, though, Karim. We've said that uh, about decks before. And then they were like, oh, uh, surprise, it actually is tier zero. Element Unite, not okay. That deck is a meme, Aaron. That deck is like, like before Infernity got hyper consistent and like Infernity could pop off 
but didn't most of the time. That's what Element Unite is. Just main deck Hinotama. True! Hello, by the way, Brad. I think it goes without saying, chat. You should definitely check out my boy. It's Brad as HD on YouTube. Alrighty, Gaga Ga Sister has another effect. Come forth, Lady Beatrice. Uh, wandering is correct. It's it's okay to be excited about a meta, but yeah, let's let, let's see what things look like in a week. If we're if we're playing and it's like. Uh, there are literally uh, 50 Orcus decks in the tournament. How many people entered? Uh, 43. I don't know how there's 50 decks. Welcome back, Gaga -ga -ga Sister. Into the Galatea. Can wait, can we counter lethal here? We're gonna be... Oh yeah, no, this is... Hello, Mr. Problematic. I really hope they don't have to ban Mermaid, though. Because I'll keep it real with you. There's something entertaining about mer our format being the one where Mermaid is allowed. Get sending. Symbol Skeleton, bringing back a second copy of Galatea. Oh my god, she's she's multiplying. Attacking for 33, 18, lethal, and Shu will win in game number three. Well done. Do we know how many Orcus entered? Yes. Exclamation point breakdown will give you that information. Let us find another match. We are going to watch another Orcus Mirror match, but thankfully, again, different versions. Longirsu and Galatea were bad guys. Is this in reference to my um, extreme defense of, uh, of Lee, Resoline? Any chronomaly? Not today, no. Um, let me see if... I posted a Twitter link that I thought was pretty hilarious. Uh, from Grand Harrier... Has link? Yes. <laughs>
This was posted to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Anonymous post Twitter. And I had to ask myself, did I, um, did I make this message in my sleep? recent release of the last part of the World Legacy lore in Master Duel, I just want to say one thing. People who look at Lee and say they could fix her are boring. Lee doesn't need to be fixed. She is right. I want to be bad with her. I would game over the whole world with her because what she did was 110% correct. Sorry, I just feel very strongly about Lee. <laughs> most most hinge uh Yu-Gi-Oh anonymous poster ever or or this particular comment Yeah, no, they um they added new music to the game, and it's uh it's a it, they're pretty banger. I'm down. All righty, reattaching the crystal Pegasus. Come forth, nightmare unicorn. Unicorn gets spinning. Attack. Attack and lethal! Game number one. See, like, part of what I'm, I'm enjoying is that was turn six, right? That game ended on turn six. Uh, Bonko, let me get that for you. I, I did not get that one updated. The fact that we have a turn, like, even with a deck that people are worried might be quote unquote tier zero, we're having de you know games go to a bare minimum turn six. People are getting an opportunity to actually play the game, and that's good. Edit com br uh let's see bracket. There we go. Lancia uh Okay, so we stopped ourselves from being able to get into our, uh, harp horror fair. This is starting to sound like tier defenders. It might not be tier zero, but the mirror is fun. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't get me wrong. By no means am I, am I saying anything of the sort. We're seeing other decks be just as successful. Like, I very specifically have been avoiding some of the other matchups, but like, do you know, for example, what you know what some of our other undefeated decks are? 
Phantom Knight and DDD. So, the, I am very obviously going after the new decks right now, but trust me, other decks are doing just as fine. I am, I am, I will never be happy with a tier zero meta, ever. I don't care, I don't care how fair or fun it is. Trust me, I am not down. 2-0 from Quebra. Well done. So if it sounds like I'm defending a t like potential tier zero, by no means. If we get to the point where like the top cut is nothing but Orcus, trust me, I'm gonna be out here being like, Konami, fix this right now. Um. Um, oops. Strange that only one sofa core entered. Not really. I mean, you're talking about like, like roughly 50 people signing up. Like, you have a new box hype. Yeah, I mean, I'm not that surprised. Sofa cord was never a deck that was getting a ton of entrance. So, if even a small percentage of those people decided to play some other new deck, then their representation is going to fall. What you're going to want to look for is like what decks end up getting played in the long term, but even more importantly, what decks are being played in the leagues like Team Wars or Hydra Cup or Friends League or any of the other leagues out there. Those are going to be the more important ones. Like our, you know, you probably will have a lot of people just going full on with the the Orcus decks, but we're, we're going to want to see in the leagues uh, specifically in like a week's time, what are the what are the the team lineups looking like? All right, searching for a copy of a polymerization or super polymerization rather. Escuriado. Just straight shutting down the Chiwamaru. Unlucky. Okay. I think we can say that um, not a very good matchup against heroes. Or hero lions specifically. S-Force seems trash. I wouldn't call it trash, but um, it's a, I think it's going to end up falling into the tier three strong rogue category, like other decks such as S Starry Knight and the like. Sulfa Cord is tier three on the TPC list, but Sulfa could arguably be a tier two. It seems overhyped, uh, to some small degree. Just, I, I think it's, it's, it's not unfair to say that it's slightly overhyped, but I still think it's actually an incredibly good deck. So any surprises today? Um, I think the surprise to me is just how many different versions of um, of uh, Orcus are actually being played. It's like a really diverse roster of decks. I I think I would have ex and that's even with a relatively small pool of of of, of players.
Game two, going to refresh. Um, I think with like 16 people on Orcus, there's like five different decks. Any Machina Orcus? No. I think we've seen Ojama, uh, Gandora, uh, Crystal Beast, what else? Pure, um, Gandora, Crystal Beast, Pure, what's it? Onomat, Onomat, thank you. So at least five. And there are other versions that exist as well. Um, any other surprises specifically? Uh, I don't think so. Get bouncing. Polymerization, come forth, Elemental Hero Sunrise. So obviously we activated the chase there specifically because we were worried about super polymerization. But was there a world where maybe it was worth waiting on it? Oh, we are just full on. God damn. Top poles get bouncing. We're going to be able to protect here. Cosmic Cyclone taking out that back row. Chiwomaru using the S-Force Chase into a copy of Gravitino. Gravitino grabbing another Chase. Ties that bind and pass. Okay. Wasn't there a super heavy Samurai? Um, That was technically just a Gandora list. Chase, only bouncing one here. Full clearing and OTK. Unlucky. I think specifically it's a hero matchup issue, Resoline. I think hero's ability to just absolutely flood the field and the fact that we were only bouncing one. Had we had one more name and we were able to bounce two each time, I think we would have been in a much better position. Uh, yes, it is four rounds into a top 16. Uh, let's see, what is the issue here? Hello, issue. Why are we not responding? What's the issue? He added one copy via the skill at top side of the game. Uh, 
Uh, you probably won't see anybody really try Chronomaly until some brave soul uh, takes it into an event. And even then, I don't think Chronomaly will do very well. Um, I really am enjoying my time playing Chronomaly, but the main issue is you very much want to go first. The, the deck, unfortunately, does not lend itself well to going second. Um, there are some builds that you can go... So, looks like we have reached the end of the Swiss round. I'm going to go double check and make sure all is good with the bracket sandings. Who is our... Oh, looks like we have 1x2... And it is Makopin. Makopin, you topped X2. Congratulations. Going to the top 16, I'm going to go ahead and begin the bracket. Meta Weekly Alert Top 16 has begun. All right, chat, I'm going to take this opportunity to dip out for just a second. I'm going to go get the breakdown of the top cut. And when I return, we will have our first match. Undefeated 4 and 0 oh, DDD. What is this? I thought DD I thought this was an Orcus tier 0 meta. No no DDDers allowed. Only cool new decks, please. Thank you very much. Uh, not all the DDDs are running Dingirsu. Some of them are still running the Galaxy package because you know it's really cool. Go into Cypher uh, Dragon and steal your opponent's Dingirsu and turn it into a Galaxy Photon Armored. We have a rose dragon topping. What the? Oh. 
Ahnung. Excuse me? Burning Abyss Topped? What is this nonsense? All right, all S-Force enjoyers, I have some bad news for you. Unfortunately, despite being the best deck in the box, there are no S-Force in the top cut. I don't understand how this could have happened. Alrighty, let us get our first match going. Who do we want to watch here? I think we are going to watch the Rose Dragon player who is up against an Orcus player. We did not watch the Orcus all so we're going to try and watch the other decks and they'll most likely be up against an orchestra or something, but I want to see some of these decks that we skipped out on. And I do have the top cut breakdown. I will share it here momentarily. that really quickly. Sorry guys, I'll uh, just finishing up the breakdown here. Okay, here we go. Uh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> uh, okay. Rose Dragon winning game number one. Did I forget to save this? Yes, I forgot to save it. Meta Weekly 276, top 16 breakdown. Okay, let's go ahead and bring it up. So, your top 16 is six Orcist, two of which are Crystal Beast, two are Pure, one is Onomat, and one is Storm Access. We have three DDD, three heroes, two of which are Hero Alliance, one is Wounded Hero, two Phantom Knights, one Burning Abyss, and one Rose Dragon. I would have been very confused had Cosmo topped, considering nobody entered with him today. Fourth, shooting Riser Dragon. Riser gets sending. Let's 
So dumping the carrot off of the white, robe off of the riser. Setting one and two and passing the turn. Scrap Recycler. Uh, so Joker, have you seen this combo before? It's actually pretty funny. Any S4s in top 16? Uh, no. Unfortunately not. It pains me to say that at least in the current builds, it may be more of a Cope Force than an S-Force. I still have hope, though. Shooting Riser. That's going to be five plus four plus two. Trishula. Zero. Get Bonitian. Uh... Boko, yeah, pretty much. You are not wrong. Ba boosting up the Trishula just so that we can get the wand into the graveyard. Set one, set two, and pass back to our Rose Dragon player. Two back row, four cards in hand. Crystal Conclave, okay. Will we have a response to this? Crystal Conclave can at any point. Send that Pegasus from the uh, Spell Trap Zone to return a card on the field to the hand. We can say goodbye to Trishula, for example. Uh, most versions tend to be on Beacon. Um, I can't say, obviously, whether or not he is on Beacon or not. Activating Crystal Conclave here. Any Lancers? But that's okay, we got a Basil Rose shoot. We can go ahead and resummon. One more back road. Do we have a response to the Level seven, uh, seven being threatened. Come forth, Black Rose Dragon.
Using a Black Rose Dragon's second forbidden effect, Orcus Harporer to attack position and attack mode. We're going to set one and go to battle. This is lethal unless we can do something. Attack one, 24. Attack two, compulsory evacuation device. But we held on to the lance. That's a 2-0 victory. Rose Dragon Sweep. Well done. Let us find another match. Can we find a DDD matchup, for example? Since he's now out of the tournament, spoilers, he is running Beacon. I would suggest asking him now, as I am not him and I do not have that information for you, sir. Alrighty, come forth Galatea, Nightmare Effect, sending the World Wand, World Wand, bring back the Nightmare, returning the Wand, setting the Orchestrated Return, draw two, come forth Dingirsu, reattaching and pass back to you, Dark Contract activating, we're going to search for a copy of DD Swirl Slime, 16 Orcus in top. Yes, how did you know, Demon? Flame High King Genghis. We're going to activate Crackdown. Get Negating Ice Dragon's Prison to uh, Banish. And no follow up plays. Unlucky. Nightmare Phoenix. We're going to discard the Lancia that we are main decking. We're going to get. Double token off of the Sky Blaster. Come forth, Unicorn. Unicorn spinning. It is a dark contract. We're going to get popping. But we only need to do so much damage. And never mind. We just have lethal. All right. Mako Pin winning game number one. Oh my god. What skill is the Ashizu? Probably Seal Tombs. We shall seal the tombs! However, we appear to have sighted into a different skill as Sealed Tombs probably doesn't do too much against DDD. Savon Kepler adding a gate. Activate the Orthos. Orthos get poppin'. It is a crackdown. We're gonna activate the gate here. And that will just shut down our turn. And of course, Scrap Recycler off of the top. It's just that easy. Book of Moon says no. We're gonna go ahead and switch a Rue here. Getting in for 900 and passing the turn. Scaling the Abyss King Ragnarok, get popping, and then just passing. Okay. Well, you know, DDD was supposed to get a little bit more consistent. Uh, this does not appear to be that. This DD player just got hard shrecked. Come forth, Dingirsu. 
Unlucky. Imagine going undefeated 4-0 just to get clapped like that. Unlucky. Yeah, that's that's real unfortunate. I feel for Mugiwara there. That is not fun. PK versus DDD. Don't need to watch that one right now. We've got Heroes versus PK. DDD versus Heroes. Don't need to watch that just yet. Heroes versus uh, Burning Abyss. No, thank you. Uh, okay. I guess we're watching another mirror ish. Why does everyone hate Heroes? It's not that we hate Heroes. Um, I'm trying to highlight new stuff right now. So if it's like two older decks against each other, it doesn't really give us any information. I want us to get as much new information as possible. If we have like DDD versus Orcus or Heroes versus Orcus, that is interesting. Don't worry about it, Buns. Alrighty. Crystal Beacon into the double back row set. Come forth for Strix. For Strix adding a copy of Zephyros to hand. Oh, we cat jamming, that's right. Come forth Nightmare Phoenix. Nothing to discard, so we're just going to save that for the Nightmare Mermaid. Sending the Zephyros going into a Galatea. Zephyros returning to bring itself to the field. Crystal Pegasus. Come forth, Abyss Dweaver. Nightmare Unic or Unicorn. Night Orcus Nightmare, rather. Into the Symbol Skeleton World. Legacy Wand, bringing back the Nightmare. We're going to set our orchestrated release into the Dingirsu, and we literally have no open zones. Everything is full except for our field spell. Bro, chill. What? Didn't even want to try. Did not even want to try. I'm out. All right, shoot, now you should. Okay, <laughs> bruh. Crystal Beacon, MST, Crow. When you have all the text, Rainbow Bridge searching for a copy of Conclave. <laughs> text versus text versus text. When everything is a tech, is anything a tech? All right, come forth, Galatea. Enclave, get targeting. And we will just pass. Normal summoning a crystal Pegasus, setting a Pegasus, getting in for 18 and passing. I finally get to play the game.
decking into sister. Activate Gaga Ga Revenge. Sister's effect into Beatrice. Revenge get bot boost in Beatrice effect, sending the Harporer. Harporer come forth with the Orcus Nightmare into the Galatea. Beatrice was just a stepping stone. I can't believe it. The Bay herself was just one rock, one foot on the path. Get sending, going into Babel. Alrighty, sending, World Wand, bring back, and we're gonna scoop it up. That was a very scuffed game of nothing but techs. Oh no. Okay. Shu, unfortunately, going second. Elsune going first. We have the Rainbow Bridge. Oh no. We've got the combo. Activating Transcendent Crystals. Activating Beacon. Come forth, Ruby Carbuncle. Bring out the Pegasi. We're gonna crow here. This does shut us down. We're able to Abyss Dweller, so no graveyard effects, but we can go on a Monopara, grabbing Sister and Zubaba Boncho, Gaga Ga Coat. Uh, Ken Pachi, uh, afterwards, I'll try and explain it more in depth. Well, I mean, so TLDR is. So the reason we're, if you're talking about the Crystal Beast version, the idea is that you play a bunch of Crystal Beast bricks in your deck, right? So that you have access to the skill to be able to send the Orcus cards that you want in your graveyard from your hand to the graveyard. You then turn the downside of playing Crystal Beast into an upside of being able to then turn it into a rank four play off of the Crystal Beacon into Ruby Carbuncle line. We have successfully broke the board. We're gonna pass back to our opponent here. We have Crystal Beacon. Cobalt Eagle. We're gonna go ahead and send the Tackle Crusader. Crystal Pegasi, setting another Ruby. The game is getting harder and harder by the day. I mean, that's that's always going to be true, though. You're never going to be able to keep it like, like, completely like monkey. But there are absolutely if, if you're looking for a deck that's like not that complicated, that they still exist. They're they're still out there. We can absolutely help you find it too if that's your issue. There are still plenty of decks that are like, in, you know, simplistic, but enjoyable. How many PK entered? Three and two topped. Bring out the Babel. Can we leave lethal here? So Dean gets sending. I 
don't think we have lethal here, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Ruby Carbuncle into the back. Oh wait, no, this is just lethal. Never mind. All right, congratulations, Shu, winning game number three. Well done to you as well, uh, El Sune. Thank you for showing off a cool version of the deck. Alrighty. We have another shot at DDD being able to, uh, uh stick it to Orcus. So we're going to go ahead and go uh, take a look at that. This will be in the top eight. We're going to be watching Mako Pin versus David Magri. Also, I do apologize, guys. I missed a bunch of uh, follows. Uh, Sikatu, uh, Orden, Appalachi, Tacto, and uh, Ryak22. Thank you so much for your follows, guys. Appreciate you very much. It's very kind. Any S-Force decks doing well today, or is Lancia too oppressive in a side deck format? Um... S forces, I believe the best they did was uh, two and two. They bring back the Doom King Armageddon, but we're going to be able to Banish here. And once again, Mako Pin, the DDD killer. Unlucky. David out here saying that he misplayed. I'll take him at his word as I actually wasn't paying attention. I was distracted for a moment. I do apologize. Robina with the subscription. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate you greatly. Alrighty, we're going to get to set up here. Activating Dark Contract with the gate.
Is this Medolce? No, as all these skills are, skill effects are in effect, uh, Medolce has probably all but fallen off. One back row, one Doom King Armageddon versus a five card hand Orcus. Good luck, gamer. Phantom Sky Blaster, the one card combo into our Orcus line. Book of Moon. Can we extend here? Do I see Curry Kara becoming popular in this meta? No. I think it could be neat. You will definitely see somebody occasionally put out like a, a cool video with it, or maybe like a um, win streak with it. But no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be like a main deck inclusion. But yes, it is a pretty neat card. Who knows, maybe, maybe, Maybe it'll start to pick up experimentation. I'd like to I'd like to see that happen. As others have said, it is a pretty cool card. One Book of Moons stops Orcus. Uh, this particular variant, it seems so. I think we're on more of a pure version. So from what I have been able to tell is that the pure versions of Orcus tend to have more one or more single card starters but less extension off of that whereas some of these other versions like the crystal beast and the gandora uh have a better extension capability So we did activate Thomas effect here. That means that we're not going to be able to, or our damage will be halved. So likely not going to be able to lethal here. Interesting. Uh, if you activate the effect of Thomas, you deal half damage. Okay. Is this on our... Okay, we have the Lancia. We're feeling pretty safe right now. Which Orcus variation seems to be best? I don't think there is a best one yet. They all have pros and cons. I think that the Crystal Beast one seems really cool though. Wait, did we not want to activate it? Or we must have another contract in hand. Uh, Zombie Stein is probably taking up the position of Santa Fond, if I had to guess. 
as opposed to one of the galaxy spots. Or maybe we got rid of the galaxy package and we're playing Ding. And because we're playing Ding, we can then slot in a zombie stein. Wait, are we trying to activate Orthos a second time? Can we do that? Oh, we can. It's a soft once per turn. Okay. And we just have lethal. Game number two, going to David. Well done. To game three we go. Back in the groove, baby. It's all up to Mako Pin. Going second once again, though. Jewel. Opening the contract. That's a good sign. Without Link Disciple, he can play Galaxy, Ding, Sanifon, and Zombie without room problems. Fair. Is there an extra deck out to Boral Load for Burning Abyss? Uh, extra deck out for Burning Abyss. Hello, Jamer. Come forth, John. We're going to draw one. Draw two. There's the Book of Moon. Draw three. There's another gate. Doesn't bluff with the other gate. Interesting. Will we get punished with an MST or Cosmic? We will. Unless we have Lance. Oh, let's go. Wait, this is new music too, isn't it? We should have bluffed with the other book. Well, actually, so we're still under Lancia. So, what can we do here? Any new decks meta worthy? 
Uh, Jamer, have you heard of a deck called Orcist? Well, a bunch of different versions of Orcus are doing or made it to the top cut. Here is what our overall breakdown for the top cut looked like. We've got a back row as well. Adding the Swirl Slime. What is Onomat Orcist? Uh, you'll see later when I share the deck list. It's pretty cool. Oh, we're just giga dead. Are we going to BM as well? Did any Chronomaly enter? No. Force out that back row. It was just a Book of Moon. Oh, here comes the BM. I'm, I'm the Orcus player now. I'm the Orcus player now. Alrighty, well done. David, well done to you, Makopin. Almost, almost came back from the X2 brink. All right, so what is in the top eight? We had DDD versus Pure Orcist. We had Heroes versus More Pure Orcist. We had Onomat Orcist versus Rose Dragon. And we have Heroes versus DDD. What does the Transcendent Crystal build do under Lancia? Uh, set up Dweller and Prey, probably. All right. Orchestrated return. Come forth, Gaga Ga Sister. Adding revenge to hand. We'll then go Gaga Ga Coat, modulate our levels here. Come forth, Beatrice. Beatrice sending 
the Bombard. Bombard into Orcus Nightmare. Revenge to go into the Galatea. Nightmare Effect sending the Harporer. Harporer into Symbol Skeleton. World Wand. Bring back the Harporer. Setting our field spell. You were asking what the automat version of uh, trans or of uh, Orcus does. This is it. All right, spell of roses. White Rose into Rock's Rose, Orcus Nightmare. Long Gearsu Effect. Sending the White Rose Dragon. White Rose special to the field. We're going to dump the Tackle Crusader. We will set to and then pass. We're going to Symbol Skeleton, bring back the Ding Gearsu, and take out both of the back row. Does he run Tackle and no Farfa? Uh, who knows, Buns? Crow, get crowing. Onamana Para, discarding the symbol, adding Gagaga -ga -ga Sister and Gagaga -ga -ga Coat to hand. Can we make these plays uninterrupted? Sister adding revenge. Coat to the field. Level modulation. Come forth, Beatrice. Beatrice dumping the harp horror. We will then gaga -ga revenge. Bring back the sister. Book of Moon says no. Harp horror into the nightmare. Book of Moon says no. Again. And unfortunately, just walled up here. Top decks into the MST. Summoning the DD Crow <laughs> into the Galatea. Mm hmm. Uh, I hate to break it to you, uh, Alien HR. A lot of these hand traps are main decked. Symbol Skeleton, Harp Horror, Come Forth Bombard, Into the Nightmare Unicorn, and good game, sir. Lethal! Did Orcus Crystal Beast make it to the top eight? Uh, I believe so. Unless I'm just dumb. Did they? Uh, so there was Pure Orcus. Uh, pure Orcus. Onomat Orcus. Uh, no, looks like they all, the, the Transcendent Crystal version fell in. The top 16. Your top four is DDD, Pure Orchest. Uh, Automat Orchest and DDD.
Two DDD, two Orcist. Is it mirrors? No, they're each against each other. Rosaline, I, I heard that you're a fan of DDD and feel that they are deserving of respect and have been for a very long time. Would you like to comment? Pendulum summon one, two, and three. Come forth, Coach King Jean Trainer. Get drawn, Book of Moon. Get drawn, Lancia. Oh, um, don't mind if I do. Get drawn. <laughs> Good luck, gamer. Activating Lancia. Phantom Sky Blaster. We're going to get Book of Moonin. Seal the tombs. That's okay with me, sir. Wait, did we? <laughs> we baited with it. No, no shot, bro. <laughs> So for those of you who don't know, the the DD Orthos was still negated from the skill. All right, we did get reduced here, so we can no longer pendulum summon our normal pendulums. This music is a banger, though. I, the fact that they're still adding stuff like this to the game is really nice. Can I show you the breakdown? I can do you one better. Uh... I can give you the command so that you can look at it yourself. First, you can go to exclamation point a breakdown. That's going to be the overall breakdown. And then we have the top 16 command. And that way you can see both the top cut and the top 16. <laughs> but yeah, so if anyone doesn't know what I, I mean, you probably heard me talk about it now, but the thing that I keep referencing is the fact that they've added new music to uh, multiple worlds. And it is a nice change. Like, the fact that it's just like an update to, like, some of the older worlds that... I mean, don't get me wrong. The music's good. But, like, the climax music can be kind of like, meh, it's okay.
When should the leaked crafting arrive in game? We honestly have no clue, Bonko. Uh, we honestly, we honestly have no clue. When Abyss Splash comes out. Oh no, come on. David Magri going first once again. It actually begs the question, in this matchup, do we want to go first or second? I think probably first, right? Especially if you can cope into pulling uh, Lancia. Take care, RPG Prince. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Appreciate you. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. We're going to have three opportunities to draw into Lancia if we didn't already. Who won the previous match? What do you mean? What previous match? Are you talking about... Oh, uh, so who did we watch? Between the... Between Shu and the Rose Dragon player? It was, uh, Shu. 2-0. Damn it, you made me miss what whatever we pulled. Chat, what were the three cards? Yeah, I just need to flip the scores. Book and two DDD. Okay. That is not good. Adding a copy of Orthos. Get popping. Forcing out the Book of Moon. Sure, I'm fine with that. Uh, yes, Alkias. People are pretty excited for the new box. Um, if you were watching yesterday, the... Um, it was yesterday, right? Yes, it feels like forever ago. Uh, Duel Links actually had its highest concurrent on Twitch in a very long time. I believe we might even have hit, like, over 3K viewers in the category, which has, you know, ever since um, Decayed stopped uh, streaming it, that just hasn't happened. Uh, it was more than that, uh, Lalwa. I was paying attention. I think it was like 2.8k, almost, uh, almost 3. Just pulled your third Galatea. I don't even think three Galatea is needed. Honestly, you could probably get through with like two runs of the box for Orcus. Ding Girisu betray. Twenty-eight, twenty-six, and lethal. David Magri will be moving on to the grand finals, ensuring that at least one Orcist doesn't make it. Uh okay. Uh praised let's uh let's not get let's not get ridiculous here bro <laughs> we may be particularly happy with it but <laughs> let's not be crazy you're, you're you're uh that 
That's some like crazy person talk right there. <laughs> Come on now. On the other side of the bracket. Alrighty, Shu going first, Francesco going second. This is DDD versus Onomat Orchest. Are we just gonna have a monkey DDD mirror match? Please, come on. No offense, Francesco. I adore you, friend. But uh, Shu, you need to do this. You need to win. Cross Duel finna make a fourth quarter comeback. Oh no, please. Robina, not like this. I am still proudly displayed my Cross Duel badge. I will have you know. Uh, turn on voice lines. We need to listen to you. Do you see Yuma? <laughs> Doesn't, does Yuma even have life point boost alpha? He does, right? So we literally could be on Yuma if we wanted to be. Orthos, get poppin'. Activating all our effects now while we can. Activating D, D, D slimed. We're gonna send the tackle Crusader here. Crusader, get flippin' down. This does mean that our back row is alive for us. Does Onomata play skill need a buff to push the deck? I mean, I don't think you can buff that skill without making it ridiculous. Especially with all the cards that they're getting now. Negated! Come um, forth, Cypher Dragon. Any responders in the back row? Crack down, get yoinkin'. Shoo, winning game number one. Okay, Kuabara, I we have to like workshop that name. Onomat Orchist. What if we shorten it to like Onoma Orchist? Can we do that? Orca or uh, or Orcomats? 
Archimats. Automat Orchist. Mm, isn't that what was already said? Orkumats. Automat Orchist. Mm. We could do, we could in fact do a poll. Okay, so. New poll. Automat Orchist. Deck name, official, real. So, what are the different names here? Uh, Ono Matt Orchist. Onoma Orchist. Orchist. Orcomat. I'm seeing Orcomat. Orcomats. Okay. Gaga Galatea. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Orchestopet... Orchestopea? Mm, I don't know about that one. Onomata Galatea is pretty good. I think I have to put that in there. All right, whatever. We're going with this one. Uh, we Anamana Galatea is pretty good. I only could do five in this one, though. The duel is ending. Okay, well, uh, we literally missed the match while coming up with this name. Cool. Orcomats seems to be winning in a pretty commanding, but Anamana Galatea is, is in contention as well. And I do apologize, I've somehow missed a bunch of these. Uh, Lukoa, Lenny, Shark, uh, Dado, Nico, uh, Nico Finn, Fire King Iro, and Gecko64. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. I appreciate you very much, Lee. Back down, get negating. Crystal Beast version is now Crystal Borkists. You know, Atlas is actually, oh my god. Okay, uh, chat. We do need... That will be the next poll. What is the Crystal Beast version name? So we have Crystal Borkists. We have Torquist. Crystal Borkist. 
What was that one? Uh, Tiki, TC, Orcist. So, Torquist. Uh, Orco Beasts. Also, congratulations. Your, uh, congratulations to the Onomat Orcus deck. You are now Orcomats. Rust Beasts? Okay, that's... I don't know how I feel about that one, but... Sure. I need one more. Just crust. I don't know about that one. We had... Just crust? Okay, sure. Alright, so congratulations to Orko Mats with the follow-up being uh, Onomana Galatea. So, new Transcendent Crystal Beast Orcus name Super Real. Uh, looks like because we had access to uh, Lancia, we didn't feel like we needed to risk going into John Trainer just yet. Why is just crust winning? What is wrong with you people? Crust. How many entries today? Uh, 50 signups and 46 after drops.
Gal, uh, yeah, yeah. It goes without saying that Lancia stonks are at an all-time premium. And when you're a deck that literally can just main deck running a card that can search for it, and you can afford to main deck it, like, ugh, no wonder DDD's back in contention. Come forth, Cypher Dragon! And a full armor photon. Get poppin'. Taking out the crackdown. Where PK at? Uh, they died in top. Did we have one in the top eight? I can't remember. No, top 16. Beowulf effect. Get Pearson. And 4,000 direct. Francesco winning game number three. The... I'm sorry, what what did we decide the name was again? It was the... Uh, uh, Onomat Orcus to the... Uh, the Orcomats. Congratulations to DDD. You have defeated the Orcomats. Orco Madge. Come on. So, obviously, if we take a look again at the overall top 16 breakdown, obviously, uh, Orcus is pretty good. I mean, I don't think anyone was doubting that. We kind of figured that was going to be the case. Um... But two DDDs have made it to the finals. Why are two DDDs in the finals? Why are we going to have a DDD mirror match final? Because DDD can afford to main deck Lancia. It can run a card that searches Lancia. And that's, that's kind of it. So Orcus players are going to have to have that in their thoughts. Like... Uh, Lancia is our scourge. How do we deal with it? Uh, I really liked Shu's deck list. In fact, while we wait for the finals to get ready, I'm going to go ahead and share it. Here? Oh my god, it's so big. That's what they say. Jesus, a hundred thousand megapixels here. <laughs> there you go. The most free-to-play friendly deck you have ever seen. Alright guys, we are just about to hit the edge break before the finals, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out of the way. When we come back, we will have the final match, and then we will go over the deck lists. Be right back, guys.
Hello, Dark Wolf. Nope, you are just in time to watch the finals. Unfortunately, we're heckin' Madge because we're getting a DDD Mirror Match Finals, but... Hey, what, do you, what can you do? Both of these duelists came prepared to screw over Orcus players, and boy howdy did they ever. And then immediately afterwards, we will share the various deck lists. All righty. Into the Coach King Jean Trainer. Get drawn. Draw again. And draw again. Okay, that's something. Double set the back row and pass back to you. So, yes, Dark Wolf. It is, in fact, a dark, a DDD mirror. Um, if you type exclamation point top 16 and breakdown you can see the overall breakdown of today's event of course as a moderator you could just go into our mod channel and see it right there but that goes without saying overall though i would say Orcus has definitely made a very good impression right off the bat. We've seen a bunch of different builds and goodness only knows how many other builds are going to come out over the next week or so. Uh, we've seen that uh, S uh, S force is probably a cope meme. Unfortunately, despite being such a cool deck feels bad, man. And DDD uh, benefits, obviously, from the fact that, like Appalachie just said, it is Lancia Turbo. Is it worth playing Orcus if all the DD players are going to eat you up with Lancia? I mean, yeah, probably. It should go without saying that it was still the most successful deck going into top cut. We are going to pop the contract. We are big Prajan here. Command of the Doom King. We have the Armageddy in hand already. Just avoid the DDD players. True. Pendulum Summon 3. Oh... My lord. That sounds about right. Game number one going to Francesco. While we wait for them to load into their next game, we can start looking at some of the deck lists. So we looked at the Automat Orcus. Uh, Dimitri is called Lancia and the ability to search for it with Card of the Soul. And because you're already playing Card of the Soul, uh, because it searches for your Doom King Armageddon, it is a natural fit. 
So here is a pure version of uh, Orcus running sealed tombs. What did we decide to call the Automat Orcus? Uh, it's uh, Orcomats. Looks pretty clean, very basic. You have several starters, looks like six starters. Sealed tombs for the mirror. Uh, we had Agnes playing this unusual version, running Storm Access. Not sure why that skill, I'd have to ask them. Not running, uh, hmm, not running orchestrated release. Interesting. Waiting for both players to return to the table still. Um, I believe this is, uh, who is this one? This is Quebra's decklist, I believe. Yeah. And here is El Sune's list. Which has somehow earned the universal nickname of Crust. Crust. Just Crust. Is Zephros just a dump into the graveyard? So you go into your four Strix. You add Zephros to hand, and then Mermaid discard. You discard uh, Zephros, then Zephros returns a Pegasus to hand to resummon. You summon the Pegasus, and then you use both level fours to go into a Dweller, so that it lets you end on Dweller. In crust we trust. Oh god, no, please. Uh, here is another more pure list. If you heckin' love your back row. We obviously already shared uh, the Onomat one. Have I shown the Crystal Beast list? Uh, I showed both of them, yeah, but I can show it like again. Here's uh, here's a good version of it, I think. I really like this this list. I think it's really good. So if you don't know the combo, specifically what you want to do is you want to have access to uh, the release, or the um, the beacon, sorry. So the, you, you set, you discard to set um, double Pegasus in the back row, and then you either use beacon or rainbow bridge to get to beacon. You summon out your carbuncle, your carbuncle summons your two level fours, 
Um, you go into... Uh, or you, you set your bird and your other level, um, your other Pegasus in the back row off of your double Pegasus effect. Um, you then use both Pegasus to go into Force Strix. Force Strix searches for Zephyros. You then use your Carbuncle and your Force Strix to go into Nightmare Mermaid. Then you, or sorry, not Mermaid, uh, Nightmare Phoenix, and then Phoenix into Mermaid. Mer mermaid discard um, the Zephyros. Bring out the Nightmare. Go into Galatea. No, wait. I forget the exact line from there, but yeah. You end on, uh, you end on, uh, Abyss Dweller and, uh, your Orcus setup. It's really nice. And obviously good in the mirror. Come forth, Cypher Dragon. Rank up into the Galaxy Photon. You OTK me, I do the same to you. To game three we shall go. Oh, and also I had one more I had one more deck list I wanted to share just because uh, they did well, and it's kind of like, huh? The BA player who made it to the to the top cut. So obviously the takeaway here is why can we why can we get benefit from this? Uh triple ansia, obviously. And uh the fact that we run Mind of the Plana, which can just delete like Orcus has to suddenly be like, oh, I can't leave anything banished if I actually want to get it back. Take care, Jamer. Appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out with me today. We appreciate it. This is it. We come to the end. Alrighty, David going first. My condolences to you, sir. You had a good run. Pendulum summon one, two, three. Come forth, Coach King Jean Trainer. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Bro? Is that, uh, is that what I think it was? Any sulfa cord today? One entered, they did not top. But, uh, I would be careful about taking anything that happens in events for the next week. 
as gospel. People are excited to try out new decks. People will continue to experiment and maybe swing back around to older decks if they feel that they have a good a good place. But uh, I think a lot of the people that were that would be Sulfa Chord players are trying out other decks right now. That said, it's it's probably still gonna fall off a little bit. It's still a good deck though. Orcus tier two at least. Um, it's gonna get. To, there's no way it doesn't end up tier one. It's gonna be everywhere, played by everyone in a bunch of different versions. It's 100% gonna be tier one. It just depends on. It's gonna. It's probably gonna end up being like a PK level of tier one, where it's like obviously amongst the best decks, but not like, uh, not like aggressively so Finally, searching for the Orthos. Are we going to try and snipe the Wavering Eyes? Book of Moon says no. Well, the wavering eyes is safe. And now we can't activate. Well, no, we, we can still activate the skill if we have or the card in our hand. Yeah, don't think Wavering Eyes is going to be enough here. Well, I think Wavering Eyes is bait because here's the thing. You can you can't respond to the skill, so they're always gonna get the pendulum summoned. And lethal wavering eyes, not enough to save us from brute force OTK. And with that, Francesco will be 
your Meta Weekly number 276. Grand Champion. Well done. With David Magri in second place, Cole and Shu coming up third and fourth, respectively. Well done. Alrighty, with that, we have come to the end of today's. Uh, David, your uh, Wavering Eyes is uh, bad. Don't ever play it again, please. That card is uh, Cope. That card is a meme. You know it, I know it. Okay, but like, aren't most pendulum skills skills and thus you can't like, you can't activate the wavering eyes when it would be good? Ah, well. Regardless, I trust your judgment. Well done, my friend. Uh, yes, we're gonna go ahead and bring this to a close. If you haven't, uh, uh, so a couple points of, um, order here. Number one, if you would be interested in joining the Meta Weekly and other events like it, such as the Master Duel Meta Weekly, you can do so by joining, uh, the Duelings Meta Discord via Twitch TV slash Decade. We host these events every Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, and the Master Duel Meta Weekly is, uh, on Sundays. Um, in addition to that, I have my own Discord with my own events. If you are interested in those, they are free to join. Um, all you have to do is just join the Discord, find the sign-up links there. Uh, we run those Wednesdays and Thursdays currently with other random tournaments depending on the week and the events that we want to do. Would be cool for you to stop by. Um, we will have... So the next one will be on Wednesday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Definitely do consider signing up or coming by just like you did today. If you would like to see more um, Orcist action uh, and the other decks that people are going to be trying to work. Uh, tomorrow, I will probably be doing some ladder... Well, not probably. I will be doing some ladder climbing with uh, Chronomaly. Uh, we're going to go on the ladder and uh, resolve Vimana and Barrage Blast as many times as humanly possible. Uh, so, yeah, do, do consider stopping by tomorrow. It'll probably be around the same time as the start of the stream, maybe a little bit later. Um, yeah. Uh, Dave, no laughing, please. Thank you. Uh, who do we got? So you said Sean. Uh, no, we're going to go raid Quantum. He's running another tournament. I see Quantum, I raid. Don't get me wrong. I love my boy Sean, but I am going to always support the tournament, uh, the tournament organizers whenever possible. Is the finals ended? Refresh, yes. Uh, the tournament article will be up on the website uh, probably momentarily. So if you want to see the deck list again, just go to duelingsmeta.com and click on the article when it goes live. Thanks, guys. I will see you tomorrow.